To begin, in a skillet over medium high heat, add in one pound of lean ground beef. Saute the beef for a few minutes until it changes to brown. Then add in one small onion diced. Saute the onion for a couple of minutes or until it becomes translucent. Add in three cloves of garlic, minced. Saute the garlic for about one minute or so. Then add in one teaspoon of salt, about half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper or to taste, one teaspoon of oregano, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, one teaspoon of paprika. Go ahead and toss that in and saute for a couple of minutes. Then add in half a cup of green bell pepper diced, half a cup of red bell pepper diced as well, a quarter of a cup of fresh Italian parsley. Go ahead and incorporate the peppers and the Italian parsley in. If you like green olives at this point, you can go ahead and add some green olives. However, in my house, someone hates green olives, so I'm not putting them in. Then add in one cup of water, followed by one tablespoon of tomato paste. Ensure that the tomato paste gets dissolved in the water. Now reduce the heat to medium low and continue simmering for about 20 minutes. And after simmering for 20 minutes, taste and adjust salt and pepper to your liking. The ground beef is fully cooked, it is time to start assembling the empanadas. For the empanadas, we are using a packet of empanada disc. They come in a package just like this and you can find them in most grocery stores in the Latino frozen section. And for those of you who do not have a Latino grocery store nearby, I will have a link in the description box down below so you can get them online. To each empanada disc, we are adding about 2 tablespoons of the ground beef. We are also adding shredded cheddar cheese, but the cheese is optional, you don't have to if you're not into cheese. To close the empanada, you fold it over just like so. And to ensure that the empanadas do not open up, with a fork, go around the edge, just like so. Let me show you one more time. Place an empanada disc on your countertop. Then add in 2 tablespoons of the ground meat. Followed by some shredded cheddar cheese, actually any cheese would work here if you're into cheese or no cheese at all, up to you. Close the empanada by folding it over. Then with a fork, go around the edge, so easy to do, anyone can do it. Now in a small mixing bowl, add in the egg white of one large egg followed by one tablespoon of water. Give that a whisk. Now brush each empanada with the egg wash on both sides. Then spray the inside of your air fryer basket with non-stick cooking spray. Place your empanadas into the basket. I am doing three empanadas at a time. However, if your air fryer basket is bigger, you can do more, of course. Now set your air fryer temperature to 325 degrees. 
and set the time to 15 minutes. Go ahead and press start. And after 8 minutes, pull the air fryer basket out and flip them over. After you have flipped them over, continue air frying for the remaining time. And after 15 minutes of total cooking time, your air fryer empanadas should look like this. And now you are ready to eat. There you guys have it, air fryer beef empanadas. Enjoy, buen provecho, and thanks for watching.